Washington The Trump administration on Thursday will finalize a rule to strip away environmental protections for streams, wetlands, and other water bodies, handing a victory to farmers, fossil fuel producers and real estate developers who said Obama-era rules had shackled them with onerous and unnecessary burdens. From day one of his administration, President Trump vowed to repeal President Barack Obama's Waters of the United States regulation, which had frustrated rural landowners. His new rule, which will be implemented in the coming weeks, is the latest step in the Trump administration's push to repeal or weaken nearly 100 environmental rules and laws, loosening or eliminating rules on climate change, clean air, chemical pollution, coal mining, oil drilling, and endangered species protections. Mr. Trump, whose own real estate and golf course businesses almost certainly ran the Obama administration rule, has called the regulation horrible, destructive and one of the worst examples of federal overreach. Golf course developers were among the key opponents of the Obama rule, and key backers of the new Trump rule. I terminated one of the most ridiculous regulations of all, the last administration's disastrous waters of the United States rule, Mr. Trump told the American Farm Bureau Federation's annual convention in Texas on Sunday, to rousing applause. He added, that was a rule that basically took your property away from you. His administration had completed the first step of its demise in September with the rule's repeal. His replacement on Thursday will complete the process, not only rolling back 2015 rules that guaranteed protections under the 1972 Clean Water Act to certain wetlands and streams that run intermittently or run temporarily underground, but also relieves landowners of the need to seek permits that the Environmental Protection Agency had considered on a case-by-case -case basis before the Obama rule. It also gives President Trump a major policy achievement to bring to his political base while his impeachment trial continues. Farmers coalesced against the EPA being able to come onto their land, and he's delivering, said Jessica Flanagan, a Republican strategist in Lincoln, Nebraska, this is bigger news for agricultural producers than whatever is happening with the sideshow in D.C., she added. The new water rule will remove federal protections from more than half the nation's wetlands, and hundreds of thousands of small waterways. That would for the first time in decades allow landowners and property developers to dump pollutants such as pesticides and fertilizers directly into many of those waterways, and to destroy or fill in wetlands for construction projects. This will be the biggest loss of clean water protection the country has ever seen, said Blan Holman, a lawyer specializing in federal water policy at the Southern Environmental Law Center. This puts drinking water for millions of Americans at risk of contamination from unregulated pollution. This is not just undoing the Obama rule. This is stripping away protections that were put in place in the 70s and 80s that Americans have relied on for their health. In other words, the FBI suspected that the base was operating as a criminal enterprise. The men arrested in Maryland hoped that attacks in Richmond would spark a wider conflict. A